Good evening, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. It's Monday Night Meditation. So let's get started. Find your, find your seat, however that looks for you. Find your seat. Trusting in the wisdom of the body and of breath. and of the silence. I'm beginning the meditation with a soft mantra to tune into the breath. On the inhale, we say peace. And on the exhale, we say love. Inhale, peace. Exhale, love. Letting that mantra release tension within the body. And within the mind. Gently letting go of the mantra, letting the soothing after effects of the mantra set in into the atmosphere of your meditation. Sensing a holy silence within this atmosphere, around this atmosphere, and expanding beyond. Expanding and including the vastness of consciousness. The space of your home. Of your neighborhood, your community, your city.
widening consciousness across the surface of the earth. In the four sacred directions. To the north. To the east. To the south. And to the west. Across the mountain ranges, the forests, the oceans, the deserts, as well as including the sky above us. Both the bright blue sky of the day and the silent starry night sky. Merging our awareness with this spirit. Being vastness. Gigantic awareness. Being curious as to what is the nature of this expansive consciousness, awareness, mind. Will we allow the mind to slow down? to return to its natural state. There's a quietness here. There's a humming radiance of intelligence
There's an absolute stillness here. The divine masculinity of presence. like a container of absolute oneness. Imagining that there's a center point. Right in the center of your skull. Directly behind the third eye center. Behind the thinking mind. center point of our hearing capacity. Behind the sense of sight. Much different type of seeing. when we allow our consciousness to take a step backwards. Towards the center or the back of our heads. Allowing the forehead and the jaw, the eyes, melt within this spaciousness and as allowing the spaciousness to be one emanating in all directions. Centered in the skull. No walls, no boundaries, no limits. Sensing the sanity, the intellect, clarity of mind, and infinite intelligence radiating about the third eye center.
a peace beyond all understanding. Be still and know that I am. What is the relationship between this stillness and this sense of I am? If we are absolute stillness, what is I am? What is me? as we begin to include the other upper chakra centers. The throat and the crown. allowing ourselves to fully open in the throat, the third eye and the crown. Allowing our being that is above the shoulders to be fully surrendered to the light, to the brilliance. To majesty. Holiness. As there is a, a dripping of grace from the divine feminine. That's included within the divine masculine. The two sides of the same coin of divinity. The dancing light of grace and of bliss 
with the absolute silent stillness of consciousness. Sensing that there are multiple levels of the crown up towards heaven. Like a string of beads. each becoming more and more heavenly as we connect to this grace, the helping hand of the Divine Mother. Here today for us and in all days, As she begins to descend into the space of the voice, she challenges us to recognize not our smallness, but our vastness in the space of the throat chakra. Imagining a giant turquoise Tibetan singing bowl just behind the throat, radiating in all directions, a couple of meters in width. The voice of our soul says, I will not be small. I refuse to be small. My heart must be heard. As we include the space of the chest and the arms within this light as this light the sternum, the shoulder blades, transforming in and as this light. Through the throat, through the head, 
throughout the crown and anchoring into the center of the chest. Letting this light comfort and hold the emotional center of the human. Acknowledging that uh, she is not wrong to be human, emotional, to have feelings and perceptions anxieties, to be hurt by others, The inner child is fully held. The inner critic is loved, is hugged. being our full humanity in this light. The Divine Mother loves us is the example of how we can love ourselves. And we're even loved when we forget or refuse to love our human self. Of course, it's much easier to fully feel these emotions when we provide space for them to flow, allowing the heart, our spiritual heart, to expand, 
to take a step back, to be still and silent. And to integrate this mantra taught by Ramdas that I am loving awareness. Our nature is loving awareness. being love. Compassion. For self and others. Being compassionate towards this space, this awareness, this world. This body. This mind. This soul, this spirit. This egoic structure being flooded by compassion. Or what the Tibetans call loving kindness. Being the energy of loving kindness at the core of the heart. Most importantly, towards yourself first, especially if your cup is not yet overflowing. If your cup is not yet full, can it be filled with this, this love, this kindness, this compassion, this gratitude, forgiveness, That's the entirety of the chest, the rib cage is included as this heart chakra is so huge.
imagining as if the eye of our awareness descends and anchors not in the front of the brain, but just behind the heart. And remembering the phrase, I am loving awareness. that maybe the greatest form of love is self-love. Loving the human and our divine nature. We can even allow this love to descend even further into the space of the belly, solar plexus, the sacrum, the abdomen, the diaphragm, the hips pelvis, the pelvic floor, the thighs, the calves, and the feet. Allowing the love of the heart to radiate into the lower half of the body. To soothe any fear or anxiety. especially in the hara, below the belly button. And imagining a bowl of light in the backspace of the Hara. As this love trickles down,
and settles. Just behind this center of fear. The center of existential anxiety and terror. Just behind this unwillingness to be human, to incarnate, to have a body, this, this deep fight against life, or just behind or just below this fear. area is also filled by the divine grace pouring down from above the crown chakra through the heart and simultaneously Settling into the space of the heart. Merging with peace. With this loving kindness. This divinity. Allowing the fear to be transformed into radiant energy, holy brilliance, and a profound power of absolute non-duality. Claiming this fearlessness as self. Like a smiling Buddha. Surrendering into a blissful oneness absolute emptiness and finally anchoring this light deep through the surface of the earth, through the legs, and down into Mother Earth herself, being this pillar of light, 
from the seed of heaven to the core of the earth, through our humanity, our heart, our soul, our egoic structure, it's all included. Being this light, And may we be this example. May we have the courage to step forward into this life as this light. From bringing the hands in front of the heart. Asking God to help us and guide us along this journey. Providing us counsel and wisdom as we traverse this paradox of being a human and a divine radiant soul here on planet Earth. And may, the, may this be true for all of our siblings and all the animals and plants on this planet, today and in all days, now and forevermore, thanks be to God. Amen. Namaste. You can gently open your eyes, encourage you to be with your experience and to be this light. Have a good evening. I'll see you.